inside the garden now. Got all peas planted along this whole fence line here. Some other things mixed in. I'll grow the peas here and a couple weeks or so I'll come through and on the outside of the peas here I'll just pull the wood chips back and I'll plant cucumbers. They'll grow up top over the peas. By the time the cucumbers really need the light and uh, start taking over the peas will be ready and harvested. So we'll get the double yield in that one location using the same fence. Just something I wanted to show you guys about the, the importance of timing in something like a food forest or any form of gardening. You can see here I, uh, I grew peas along the fence here. Those did real well in the spring and they fruited. I got a, a couple of different harvests, two different harvests out of them. And then I planted cucumbers as they were finishing up along the outside of them. This way when the peas are all finished, the cucumbers can come over and take that space and use that same fence as a trellis. So what I'm doing now, now the cucumbers are getting bigger, they need some more light. So you can see I'm just coming through and just cutting the peas at the base. Because I don't want to rip the roots out of the peas because they have nitrogen fixing nodules on them. That'll put nitrogen into the soil. So that'll help the uh, cucumbers grow. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go, I went through, cut those out. I'm going to continue doing that down the line. Then I'm going to go through and wood chip the back side of it. And actually waited until I got a decent rain so I know the soil would be full. We'll have a lot of moisture in it. Then I'll wood chip right over the top of it. And I'll take cucumbers grow trellis right over. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Some extra wood chips in the back there. Good mulch. The cucumbers should do well. Got a gap here where we lost a couple of them. Uh, either seeds didn't germinate or just didn't get enough sunlight or something. But these should blow up now that they have a good opportunity at sunlight. Down there I got a lot of carrots planted so I wasn't able to really wood chip as heavily. But I think it'll do alright just as it is. Alright guys, I'm in the center of the food forest now. So I've got strawberries all along here. Now these strawberries here are... Uh, variety that fruits in the spring so it's late June now I've already got my harvest from all these strawberries they grew well they fruited a lot got a lot of fruit off them and now just as they're finishing up and just actually just starting to send out their runners and extend their area is when the grape is really starting to put on a lot of growth and needing a lot of sunlight so this grape is going to go over and trellis up here and basically just shade out a lot of these strawberries that's all right though because I already got the fruit from the strawberries so they don't need as much direct sunlight now that they're done fruiting. So it's just a kind of area where I'm going to get double the yield and not suffer any uh, any adverse effects of having them right next to each other. Just another example of uh, just timing in a food forest. Thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for following along. James Prigioni is out. Crazy over there. Got some flowers on the eggplant. There's a huge zucchini. Plant here, it's supposed to be a little healthy.